Next, we need to talk about meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. Three names for the same object. It just depends on where it is. Okay? A meteoroid is another type of rocky object moving in space between the planets. Meteoroids are smaller than asteroids. So they're chunks of rock, but they're smaller than asteroids. Okay. Most meteoroids that enter Earth's atmosphere are about the size of a pebble. So we're talking about really small rocks. Okay, those are meteoroids. Okay, when a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it's flying very fast through space. When it gets into the atmosphere, that speed produces friction with the molecules of gases in our atmosphere, and that friction produces heat as they speed through the air toward the ground. Okay, we see this heat in the sky as a glowing path, like this picture right here. That's called a meteor. So this is a meteoroid that has entered our atmosphere, and because it's going really fast, it gets hot, it starts glowing red, and it, uh, we see that as a meteor. Okay, most meteors burn up in the atmosphere completely because they get so hot that they just, and they're so tiny that they just burn up, okay? If a meteoroid that is streaking through the atmosphere as a meteor, if it's big enough to not burn up and hit the ground, the piece of the meteoroid that is left over when it hits the ground is called a meteorite, okay? A meteorite, a piece of a meteoroid that has survived its passage through the atmosphere and strikes Earth's surface. Here's a picture of a meteorite. The reason why it looks so funny like this is, see how it looks like it's been melted? As it was streaking through the atmosphere, it got hot and part of it melted and started flowing away. <clears throat> and um, I actually have a meteorite that I found, and I'll show it to the class. So this right here... Uh, this animation shows what happens and when a meteoroid is called a meteorite, okay? Um, when it's in space up here, it's, and it'll start over again right here. When it's in space, it's called a meteoroid. And as it is entering our atmosphere, it gets hot and starts to melt. And it forms this trail of vapor and gases. Now it's a meteor as it's going through the atmosphere, okay? And when, if you see one of these, it goes very fast. It's not slow like this. All right, so this is a meteor. And then if part of it survives and doesn't burn up, when it actually hits the Earth, then it is called a meteorite, okay? Comets. A comet is a small mass of dust and ice that orbits the sun, okay? Like planets. Comets have elliptical orbits, okay, like this oval shape, but um, the orbits of most comets are much longer, so they're big, thin ovals compared to planets, which are barely ovals at all, okay? So this means that comets can get quite close to the sun in some parts of their orbit. So they get real close to the sun, and then they go way off out into the, to the other outer parts of the solar system, and then eventually they come back in closer to the sun again. All right, so when comets are close to the sun, they're affected by solar radiation, you know, the heat from the sun and the solar wind, which is particles that, that come off of the sun. This gives comets a visible comma and tail, okay? Let's take a look at, at this. Um, this is an actual picture of a real comet right here, okay? So the icy, dusty part of the comet, the, the hard part, the solid part, is actually right down here in, in the coma. All right? The coma is the cloud of gas and dust around the comet. So when it gets close to the sun, it heats up, it starts kind of boiling and steaming, and it releases this, this gas and dust away from it. Okay? Uh, and then it forms a tail that stretches out behind it. And that's what you can see from Earth when a comet gets close to the sun if it's big enough. You can actually see this. You can go outside and see this in the sky. All right. Um, when it gets away from the sun, the, the, the coma and the tail goes away because it's not close enough to the sun to get heated up and to spew all these gases off. Okay. So comets actually have two tails. They have dust, 
that's coming off in one direction and gas which is coming off in another and these are blown away from the coma by the solar wind or the particles that come away from the sun. All right, And that's our celestial objects.